Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, what I'm going to do is I've got a Ubuntu server, which is running OpenVPN, and a Windows server, which I'm going to use as an OpenVPN client. And I have the OpenVPN client software installed on the Windows server. So what I want to do is I want to set up some virtual networking so I can have my Ubuntu server and my Windows server on the same subnet so that I can test the, um, the OpenVPN uh, connectivity. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the virtual network editor. So I'll go to edit virtual network editor and bring in my virtual network editor. And I notice here that I've got VMnet 8, which is my NAT network. And the subnet address is 192.168.30.0. If um, I go and have a look at the NAT settings, you can see that the gateway IP is 192.168.30.2. So I need to take note of that. And um, because I'm going to have to set the um, IP addresses of my um, of my um, my server and my client. So first thing I'm going to do is I'll go to my Windows server. And I'm going to go to um, right click that and go to settings. And currently that's set to VMNet1. So I might just um, custom VMNet1. So I'm going to change that from custom VMNet1 to VMNet8, which is my NAT. And hit OK. Now I'm going to go to my Ubuntu server and I'm going to look at the um, machine settings for this one. And you can see currently that's set on VMNet3. And I'm going to change this to VMNet8 and hit OK. So now what I'll do is I'll fire these two servers up. So I'll start the Ubuntu server, start the Windows server. So now my Windows server's come up, so I'll insert a control alt delete and I'll log in. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to change the, um, the IP address of the, um, the Windows server client. So I'll open the network center. And go to the adapter properties, IP properties. Now this is currently set to 192.168.1.20. But what I want to do is I want to put it on the NAT network, which is 30, the 30 network. So I want to change that to 30.20. And this one will be 30.2. And I'm also going to change the DNS to 8.8.8.8. And hit OK. So I just need to confirm that my networking is functioning. So I just might bring up a um, command prompt and IP config. And just have a look here. And I've got 30.20. So I should be able to ping 8.8.8.8 and that looks good. So finally, let's bring up a browser. Just make sure I can browse to the internet. And I'll go to uh, Google. And that looks good. Okay, so now I need to set my Ubuntu 
server IP address. So I'll go to Ubuntu and I'll log in. Log in for Steve is password one. So what I want to do here is on the Ubuntu server, I want to change the uh, IP address of the Ubuntu server. So I'm going to run up a um, terminal prompt. And I'm going to type in sudo nano slash etc slash netplan 99 underscore config.yaml. So the config.yaml file contains the, um, the static IP address for the Ubuntu server. So I'm going to edit the config file. And need to do this as sudo. So I'm going to go in here. Now, the current address is 192.168.50.100. So I'm going to change that to my... Um, my 30 network, which is my um, which is my uh, NAT network, and the gateway for this address for this network is um, 30.2.2, and I can leave my DNS as it is just to confirm. If I go edit virtual network editor, bring up my virtual network editor, VMnet 8 NAT. And you can see here that it's the 30 network. Um, if I go to the NAT settings and the gateway IP is 30.2. So put that away, but basically what I've got here is gateway 30.2 and I've got 30.100 as my server address. So I'm going to save that. So I'll just do uh, save and exit. Now it's probably best if I do a reboot just to um, get those settings in play. I'll just reboot this one. So I've just rebooted and logged in as Steve. So the first thing I want to do is just check that I can ping DNS. Yep, and that looks good. So the other thing I can do is I can try and ping my uh, client, which is my Windows server, which is going to be my VPN client, which was 192.168.30.20. That's where I got in there. And that looks good. So I've got client server connectivity. So finally, and I've got internet connectivity, so I can just confirm this just running up a web browser. Let's browse to google.com. Let's make sure all of that's working okay. And that seems to be working okay. It's a bit slow, but it's working. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to check that my OpenVPN server is running. So I can just run, I've got, I've got NetTools installed. So I can just do um, uh, run netstat minus an and I want 11.94, which is my VPN port. And I'll just pipe that through, oops, 11.94. Actually, let's say I am quite through threat and I'm looking for matches on 1194. Okay, and you can see here on that set, I've got in UDP, I've got um, listening on port 1194. So that tells me my OpenVPN server is running and listening on that port. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick over to my Windows client, Windows server client and go back to the desktop here. And I'm gonna try and connect to my OpenVPN server with the OpenVPN client. And so I'll go in here and I'll hit connect. And we'll see if we're gonna be lucky today.
No, it's not going to connect. Now, the question is why? And the reason why is that the client is configured to try and connect on 192.168.1.1. So what I need to do is I need to modify the client configuration file to uh, tell the client to connect to my new IP address of my, um, of my Ubuntu VPN server. So I'm going to disconnect from there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to locate the openvpn.config file, which should be in um, C, program files, openvpn, config. And here I've got my client config file. So I might just make a copy of that and Yeah, so I've got a copy of my original, and I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this with Notepad plus plus. And what I need to do is I need to find the section that sets the IP address of the um, of the VPN. I might just go to my um, settings, I can find settings quickly. Um, setting settings. Just trying to make the text a bit bigger. Um, ah, anyway, don't worry about it. So here I'm looking for the IP address. So here I've got remote. So what I need to do is I need to change my remote. So what I might do is I might just copy that. And underneath there, I'm going to paste and I'll comment this one out. And this is my remote address if I'm using the, um, the Palo Alto firewall. But because I'm not using the Palo Alto firewall, I'm going direct to the um, client. I need to make this the IP address of my Ubuntu server, which should have been on the 30 network and it should have been 30.100. Okay, so I'm gonna save that away. Uh, yes, yes. And I'm going to try saving it away this time. Control S. Yep, and exit out of there. Now I'm going to try that again. So I'm going to try and launch my OpenVPN. Oops. So let's try and connect using client one, which is the one I've got here. And now you can see here that it's looking a bit more successful. Um, and I've got a connection. Okay, so that's good news. So notice my assigned IP address is 10.8.0.6. So if I then fire up my command prompt here, and I should be able to ping 10.8.0.1. Oops, Pong might help if I type correctly. And you can see here I can ping 10.8.0.1, which is my VPN server. So what I should then be able to do is I should then be able to, um, provided I've set the um, firewall settings correctly on my Ubuntu server, I should be able to um, putty into my Ubuntu server as um, 10.8.0.1. So I should be able to connect to 10.8.0.1 on port 22 and SSH into my Ubuntu server. Let's have a look. So I can log in as Steve and my password is password one. And I'm in. The other thing I should be able to do through my VPN is I should be able to hit my web server, VPN web server, which is at 10.8.0.1. And you can see there, I can I can connect directly to my Apache 2 web server. Note also that if I go to um, 192.168.30.100, oops, try that again.
I can also connect to my um, Ubuntu server as well because I've got no I've got no firewall between the um, the VPN client and the um, and the Ubuntu server. Okay, well that's pretty much wraps up what we wanted to do for this video. And um, now what we've got is we've got a working um, a working VPN between connection between our our client machine, which is our Windows server acting as a client machine, and our Ubuntu server, which is running OpenVPN. Thanks for watching.